In today's video, we're going to make a quick link on the WordPress admin admin bar. Welcome back. And in today's video, we're going to make a quick link in the admin bar. And in part two, we're actually going to uh, expand on that quick link where it will do a Ajax call. But in this first video, I want to make a quick link on the admin bar. And I do this a lot of times for a lot of my customers. If they have one specific area they need to go to on a regular basis, whether it's a report or whether it's a product that they edit on a regular basis or even the front page of the website, I provide them a quick link on the admin bar so that they can log in, get to that area as fast as possible. And it basically can be made to link to any page that you want and do it really quickly. So let's get started. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And like I said, in the second video, we're going to expand on the admin button just a little bit. All right, so let's get started. So here in the ideapro.io admin area, and we just use this website as testing, this is the admin bar up here that I'm talking about. So we've got a little button here that says new, and basically from that new button, we can say post, media, page, unit, and user. So if we want to do a new post or a new page, we can go up here and we can click this. Now, like I said, we typically edit pages on a regular basis, you know, like the front page, or we do, um, we make changes to a product. Maybe you have a product that goes in and out of stock a lot, uh, and especially in a retail store. If it's going out of stock on the website, hopefully the website's updating automatically. But if it's not, sometimes it may be going in and out um, of a retail shop and the website's not getting updated. So you can link to that product and be able to quickly change it from in stock to out of stock. The other thing that we do is sometimes there's a report, maybe it's a, a monthly report, a weekly report, or a daily report that you want to check. And going into, if you're running something like WooCommerce, going into WooCommerce, going into and finding that report may take you a few minutes to go through each of each individual click. You got to click on WooCommerce. You got to click on the next piece, the next piece, and the next piece. So this is basically a quick link to get to that. Um, and you can actually make this run things later and we'll explain more of that in a second video. So what we want to do is we want to link to, just as example in this video, um, the front page of the website. Now, if you've got a website with hundreds of pages, you might know how hard it is to find that specific page that you want. You can do a search, but then you don't sometimes remember what name of the page it is. You know, for example, we have a really large client that has about 300 pages on their website. The front page, I can't never remember what the page title is because it's not just home or front page. It, it the title is the is used in the um, header for SEO. So the, the front page is not just home or front page. So finding that page sometimes can be, you know, can be a pain and we're constantly making changes to that page. So we created a quick link that we can go directly to that page as soon as we log into WordPress admin. All right. So we're going to create a standalone plugin that will give us that link and you can even add multiple links to it. Okay. So, like I said here, we're on the a dashboard of the admin, ideapro.io admin page. And we're going to go to our code, and we're going to create a new page. And we're going to call this admin link.php, and we're going to save that. And we're going to make sure that we are in the right website, public HTML, WP content, plugins, and we're going to create a new folder and that new folder is going to be called the same admin link create and we're going to save all right so now we have a plugin here and it's called the folder is admin link and then inside we have the admin link.php page all right so we're going to change this to a php tags 
And then up here, we're going to put in a couple of comments, and we're just going to say plugin name, and let's call it my special admin link. Okay, and that is really, I like to kind of put two in there, that's really all you need for um, to make a plugin if you're doing it on your own site. Uh, you can put in a description and you know all that stuff here. Let's go ahead and put we'll go ahead and put in a description. Description description. There we go. Um, link to special pages on the admin bar. Alright. So now if we save this, upload it to our website, and we go to plugins. We can scroll down here, and here's my special admin link, link to special pages on the admin bar. So we're going to activate this, and it now the plugin is now active. Of course, we don't have anything up there because we haven't put any code into the plugin. Okay, so now we're going to write some code that goes into our plugin here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a function, and we're going to call it my admin link. My admin links. How about that? All right. And so that's just a standard PHP function. And inside the curly brackets here, we're going to give it one argument. All right. And we're going to call that argument admin bar. Okay. Now, what that's doing is it's going to pull in all the details of the admin bar that already exist. Okay. So to now trigger this function, we're going to add an action. All right. So we're going to say add action. And that is a WordPress built-in function, okay? So the first argument that we're going to put here is the admin bar menu, okay? So what that does is this add action function says trigger the admin bar menu, and we're going to call our function admin my admin links. So that matches this function here. So it's going to say add the action admin bar menu and call this function so that it runs anything that we put inside of here. Okay. And then the place that we're going to put that button is the next, um, the next variable here. Now we can just put 100 and basically what that's going to do is it's going to put it after all this other stuff. Okay. So we're going to just put 100 and then we're going to go inside of here and we're going to say dollar sign admin bar add menu and that is the function okay so admin bar is being pulled in and it's an object so it is we're going to use the admin bar and we're going to use the object property pointer to say admin menu okay so this is add add not admin menu add menu okay so this is a function or actually a method inside of the um, this admin bar object okay um, so now what we need to do is we need to put variables inside of the add menu uh, method okay and you can call this a function if you want to but um, so the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to space this out is we're going to call we're going to make an array now an array will allow us to provide all the arguments inside of that array all right so our first um, argument inside of the array is we need to give it an ID and we're going to open up two brackets here and we're, our, our ID for this is going to be, um, we're going to link to the front page. So my admin front page. It's a kind of a big ID, but that's, that's fine. It just needs to be unique and not uh, conflict with anything else. So now we need to give it a title. Okay. And so this title is going to be what shows up on the actual button. So 
let's say edit front page All right so the next one is going to be our href and this is actually where the um, the page that you're actually linking to okay so for that what we're going to do is we're going to come back over here and we're going to go to pages we're going to find the front page whether you have to search for it do all you know all that kind of stuff and then we're going to edit that front page all right then we're going to go up here and we're going to copy everything post.php question mark post is equal to 179 and action is equal to edit so we're going to copy everything after the wp admin slash here so we're going to copy all this we'll come back into our code and we're going to paste it inside of these brackets here all right so let me turn on word wrap just so that is not off the page word wrap there we go so and we can even break this down we can put these on different lines if we want if it makes it a little easier to um, see and manage how about that okay and so then our array is on a different line here and then this ends the actual um, pull these over a little bit there we go so now this is the array and now and then this is the add menu the end of the add menu function I hope that makes sense okay so now if we save that we come back over to our page and we refresh now we have this edit front page button here all right so we can go to dashboard as we log in we're like oh we need to edit the front page boom we come in and there we are we're right there on editing the front page now this button this bar and this left bar is not available to you most of the time on the new wordpress with gutenberg the way you make that available i'll turn it back on here is this is what it looks like by default i don't like that i like to have the left bar and the top up here um, a lot of times i don't use it while i'm doing this but when I want that next button to go to, I don't have to click WordPress, then go back out to do that. So if you have, you go over to these three little dots, click on that, turn off full screen mode, and that gives you back the menu bar up here at the top and on the left hand side, all right? So now we have that button, we can go straight into edit front page, takes us right there. Now, if we wanted to go to settings, um, let's say, uh reading for whatever reason we wanted to go to this page on a regular basis we can copy options reading.php we can come back in and we're just going to paste that there for a second we can copy this come down paste that in so we made a duplicate of that options reading.php we're going to copy that and get rid of it so we're going to use that href here so options reading now we're going to change this one to options reading as the id because each one of those ids need to be unique and then the title is going to be reading settings all right and we're going to save that we're going to come back over to our page and we're going to go to dashboard to refresh it and so now we have reading edit front page and reading settings up here so this gives us the ability to go straight to certain sections of wordpress and it helps you tremendously when you're um, making changes especially if you're a um, team and you're doing that and you're doing it for or in, even an individual doing it for multiple clients if you're managing multiple websites adding these links up there in the admin bar helps a lot now you can go even farther into that and say if user it is blah 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 you know id whatever you can say show this button but if the user is not this don't show that button so you may want to make it specifically to you or to someone else in the company right um but but that's the way you do it and i'm not going to get into those details in, in this video the next video i'm going to show you guys how to um go farther into that those buttons to make the, an ajax call where the 
it does something in the background when you click that button. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Stay safe in the current situation that we're in, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.